everybody, this is Wendy from Wendelonia coming at you with a March 2019 Plan With Me video. So I've been bullet journaling for a long time, since I think um, 2013 or 2014, but it's really only been recently that I've kind of taken up the idea of doing pretty bullet journaling. It's been really practical up to this point. Um, I've always used different colored pens and stuff like that, uh, but in the last few months I've really gotten excited about using my bullet journal as more of a combination of planning, but also a place to do some artistic stuff. The spread I'm working on here is a monthly calendar. I started off by penciling out a 5x5 five five grid, and then I'm going over it um, so far, you've seen me going over it with my Sakura uh, Pigma Micron pen. Um, here I'm adding in the names of the months. I already made a, the very first second. I tried to write down Monday instead of Sunday. So I'm trying to fix that here with some whiteout. I tried with a gel pen. Nothing quite covered it up. Turns out my whiteout is really old and uh, it didn't really work very well. So that's kind of mungy and I'm not thrilled with how it looks, but I decided to just move on with my life and keep working on it. So uh, the idea with this spread, I've done this in Traveler's Notebooks before, but I don't really use this as a calendar for keeping track of appointments or things like that. What I like to do as a scrapbooker is go through and write a little note for every day about something that happened. Sometimes I include little photos. Sometimes I just put in a piece of washi tape if I don't have much to say or a little painting or something like that. And that's what I'm planning on doing with this spread here. So what you're seeing me do here is I'm about to, um, or actually I've already started stamping out the word March at the top of the page. I started off with a set of Kelly Perky stamps. It's the Cobble Hill stamp set that does an outline of each letter. And now I'm filling in with a companion set of stamps with yellow and it's going to fill up the space inside the letters. I can't remember the name of that stamp set, but I'll list it in the comments down below in the description field rather. Okay, so I've got the March stamped out. I love the way it looks. I have, I used a mild liner in goldenrod, I believe the color is, to add a little drop shadow to all of the boxes. And now what I'm doing is I'm stamping out these daisies. Um, this is from a Studio Calico set. I love daisies. My email is actually daisy at wendelonia.com and it has been for like 20 years. And so I thought that was a great sort of bright, cheerful, springy, addition to my bullet journal that will make me happy every time I look at it. So I'm stamping out the things here. You can see me using a post-it to mask off the boxes for the calendar so the, the daisies don't go over into the boxes. And the next thing I'm going to do here is color in the middles of all those daisies with my mild liner. Um, off to the right you'll also see I have a list for tasks, a box for tasks, and that's where I'll just write in all the stuff I have to get done this month, not necessarily anything particularly pressing. The journal I'm using here is an Archer and Olive journal. I learned about these like about a month ago or so. I'm not sure exactly how long ago, but the thing that makes these different is they're set up with a dot grid for, journal, uh, for bullet journaling, but also, the paper is really, really heavy, so you can use almost any kind of ink or marker on it, and even paint, and it doesn't bleed through. So that's exciting because I've been wanting to do more artistic stuff in this book. Okay, so now we're moving on to the weekly spread. Um, this is for the first week of March, and I decided to mimic what I did on the first uh, overview calendar page. So I'm using the Pigma Micron pen to outline a box for each day of the week and then I will also highlight it with that yellow gold or orange gold, I can't remember what it's called, uh, mild liner highlighter. So you can see me using some tools here and you probably noticed them on the other spread too. These are from Dear Lily Designs and they're little templates. Um, that make it a lot easier to do 
straight lines for bullet journaling without having to use a ruler and make sure you're paying super close attention because I always go over, uh, I go too far when I'm drawing lines with my ruler and I end up goofing up. So these little tools are nice. You can just plop them down and draw the, you know, trace the edges of the template. I have a little line one where it's all set up in half centimeter increments, just like the dot grid journal is. And it makes, makes it really easy to put together a good looking uh, bullet journal spread with no mistakes on it. So again, I am using that same daisy stamp to stamp in my excess space. Um, I'm going to have that be an extra little spot for notes. I often find that some days I don't need much space at all for my daily list of to-dos. Other days I need a ton of space, like when I go into the office to work or something like that. So I use that extra space at the bottom for those overflow notes on those days. I'm highlighting each of the uh, top little boxes there and writing in the day of the week and the date. And then down here at the bottom, I'm using a gray mild liner to highlight every other line. So um, just because I think it looks kind of nice. And I'm going to do that at the top of each one too. Um, those spaces at the top, I'm setting aside for appointments or events like the kids baseball practices or you know if I have a doctor appointment or something like that and the space below that will be used for writing out my to-do list. Okay so that about sums it up. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up um, and also if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing. Thanks a lot for watching.